Greetings from the Afton School District. Hi, I'm Steve Brotherton, the superintendent of Afton, and I'd like to invite you to take just a few minutes to learn a little bit about the happenings in the Afton School District, a school district that's been around for over 150 years, where we started in 1857 as a one-room schoolhouse, and today we have about 2,500 students in five different buildings from our brand new early childhood center through our high school. I hope you uh, will enjoy learning a little bit about the district and we're proud to share with you some of the things that are happening in Afton today. Over the past three years, Afton has established itself as one of the top performing districts in the state of Missouri. That's based on the Missouri School Improvement Accreditation process. In Missouri, schools are accredited on a 100 point scale. School districts that score 90% or above um, are considered accredited with distinction. The Afton School District was accredited with a score of 94.3 this past school year, which puts us in the top 10 performing school districts in the St. Louis metropolitan area, as well as in the top 5% of performance in the state of Missouri. But it's more than just being accredited at a high level. It's ensuring that all of our students are graduating from our school district with the skills they need to be successful in the real world. So we know that that happens in all of our buildings from early childhood through 12th grade. Developing a robust curriculum, infusing technology throughout our curriculum, and also infusing character education into all that we do are going to help us meet our goal of helping our students be prepared for this ever-changing world. Over the next three years, we'll be making a $10 million investment in all of our district facilities. We're doing that without going back to the taxpayers. We're doing that through allocating resources in a different way. A year ago, we conducted an audit of all of the district's technology, the infrastructure, how teachers are using technology in the classroom. We engaged our teachers and our community in taking a look at how we could better serve our students with different technologies. And as a result, we've invested just about a million dollars in upgrading our infrastructure. That was our first step. Now, because our infrastructure is robust, we're able to do so many more things in the classroom. An example of that is the one-to-one -one initiative that's happening at Afton High School, where each student will be receiving a Chromebook and using that throughout the day. Um, let's take a look at how that looks in the classroom. So this year has been quite challenging for me. I've had uh, Chromebooks for all my students, so we're doing a one-to-one -one classroom. And uh, what I've found is I can't just repeat what I've done in the past. I can't just give them worksheets on the computer now. Uh, that's kind of the big mistake I think some people make. You really have to be creative and think about transformative lessons, ones that can be really engaging, because that's the, that's the big positive with using these, this technology is the level of engagement. Uh, so for instance, we're doing a lesson right now uh, Last year, I would have just had them read a story, create a PowerPoint presentation, and that would have been it. This year, they're going to read a story. They're going to connect themes from the story to current events, uh, things that they're interested in. Uh, they're going to find them on the internet, then respond to them. They're also going to send questions out to people uh, in colleges and experts, doctors, lawyers. Uh, and ask them their opinion about the issues that come up in the story. I think the Chromebooks give students a lot more freedom to control their education and we can uh, use them for faster information and can complete projects a lot easier. And they're also just really fun to use. They've been very beneficial because of uh, you can be a lot more neater with your stuff. You don't have to carry a lot of stuff with you because it automatically saves on your drive. And whenever you do your homework, <clears throat> You don't have to carry a flash drive with you everywhere and have the chance of losing it. You can always have your Chromebook and whenever you use it, it automatically saves at any given point so you don't have to save manually. The addition of the Chromebooks allows us to have a different delivery method for our curriculum to our students. It gives students the opportunity to create, produce, communicate, and it gives our teachers the opportunity to customize learning for all of our students. We're excited about the programming that we're adding at Afton High School. We're nationally certified in both Project Lead the Way Biomedical and Project Lead the Way Engineering. 
Both of those programs are helping our students learn at a very high level, uh, giving them real world experiences in the area of medicine and engineering. Hi, I'm Aaron Bernabo. I'm one of the Project Lead the Way instructors. We're in the Project Lead the Way engineering room. Uh, myself and Josh Liebehusen, who joined us this year, are you know, uh, the instructors. This is the second year engineering course, Principles of Engineering, and they're in the process of one of their uh, cumulative projects. So their, their goal here is to make a marble sorter which has to sort three different types of uh, marbles into three different bins completely autonomously within two minutes. What is so great about this program is, I mean, A, the level of rigor that, that it brings the kids to, as well as, as how easy it is to get their, their buy-in and involvement with it because uh, there are so many rewards and it is so much more authentic than you can be in a lot of different classes. And so this is an amazing, amazing experience for them between the troubleshooting and the real-life applications. It's awesome. I like POE because it gives me a chance to express myself outside of normal classroom limits. What I like about POE is uh, how you get to be hands-on and how you can apply yourself in a lot of other ways than you can in any other classes. What I like about engineering is how it's pretty much structure-free and we get to just brainstorm our own ideas and it actually gives us skills that we'll take and into the real world because I know a lot of the people in this class actually do want to become some kind of engineer and I'm thinking about going to that field as well. So it helps me to prepare for my future and it's also just my favorite class in general because of the projects that we do and the people I get to work with. It's a lot of fun and what other class can you build robots in? Over the past three years, we've also increased opportunities for our students to take advanced placement courses. We've seen a significant increase in students that are able to take and pass those courses, which translate into college credit. That's a great thing for our kids. The district values a diverse curriculum. We want to have a strong, rigorous curriculum. We also want to be aware that we want to have a strong arts program and a strong sports program. All of those together help our kids have an opportunity to have different experiences that cause them to be ready to face the challenges of our world. Afton's changed quite a bit since 1857. We're on a journey towards continuous improvement. We know that starts at our early childhood center and transitions all the way through our high school. What we do in all of our building matters on our students' journey towards excellence. I want to thank you for spending some time with us here in the Afton School District today, where we are Afton Strong.